I picked a purple age six uh, playing mini rugby at my local club. I probably picked one up I, as a toddler. Like I used to chuck a ball around for my dad all the time, but actually pro properly started playing when I was about 10. But before that would just, yeah, be playing around like always like with my dad, my granddad, that sort of thing. Yeah, I started about five or six with the boys team. I played at Harpenden. Um, Lectonians was my local, but then I went on and played for Worcester because that had a girls section at the time. I'm in United. Probably from the moment that I started playing in, in the team, to be honest, I think it's like mini rugby is awesome. I feel for the parents because they're like herding cats, but when you're <laughs> on that pitch, like, it's just like freedom, running, running backwards most of the time. But I think um, probably the moment actually we went from Touch to non-contact, I think, to reaffirmed all the reasons I loved it. Because even touch is quite boisterous, but then the contact, yeah. it just confirmed it. I think for me, probably watching the game, like, I absolutely loved watching it and getting involved as a fan, but then really fell in love with it as sort of a 11 year old going and playing in like a girls only section after school. Like we all just got involved, like it was full contact, like muddy, wet, horrible. I just like love the physicality of it, love the fact we were meeting people from different schools um, and yeah just just getting involved in the game and feeling like I was really part of something was where I sort of really developed the love for the game. I don't really know to be honest. I just <laughs> I played a lot of sports when I was younger and then football and rugby seemed to stick and then I basically just did anything to beat my brother. And then <laughs> I carried it on. <laughs> I think it was more of a team aspect, like you don't get really that in football. And then I do like, there's a lot of like different people in rugby as well, like you meet a lot of different people, so I do, I do like that. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> no, yeah for sure different, but I yeah. think what remains is, is that team element. Yeah. I think yeah. We, wouldn't, we wouldn't be here if that wasn't the, the biggest like, factor within it, I suppose, like the training like super hard, the games are hard, but then like you just with your mates like in camp, like there's nothing better. Like you can't replicate that in many walks of life. So to be like on this journey together with your friends through like thick and thin, hard times, good times, like it's pretty un unbreakable bond. First on the horizon is World Cup, yeah. obviously. Yeah. So I think everyone's more or less got their sights on that and nothing too far ahead. Like, I think obviously it's felt like a long time coming with it being delayed by a year, like it has been a long time coming, but everyone's been dead focused on on that World Cup being, you know, on the horizon for, for like five years yeah. now. So <laughs> when it was delayed by a year, let's just use the opportunity to get better. So not long to go. Heads are um, like massively just into getting better every week and, and on that sort of World Cup goal. A lot of us have dogs in the team, so a lot of us will probably say like, walking the dog, I've got a cross between a Labrador and a Spring Spaniel. I've got, um, I've got a Cocker Spaniel. Yeah. We we try, we're like, like really... <laughs> yeah, Lucy doesn't like dogs at all. She's not a dog person. And we like going for coffee and Lucy's yeah, like, I know, no. not a dog person. <laughs> we don't have around. Yeah. <laughs> I think for me, getting outdoors, like, walking, going and doing like, just something a little bit different, probably a bit more of like, the like reader of the group as well but everyone has their differences in terms of I think that's what's pretty cool as well some people get like their energy from like going out and doing sit, like other things but like for me it's like how can I be like quite calm and peaceful and chilled I think like camp life is, is so hectic at like the best time so when you leave camp like you don't want to do, go do anything crazy mostly like, yeah. I don't know anyone who's going to like do extreme, extreme sports at the weekend it's generally just a case of like getting R&R &R in so then I have to do a degree yeah it's I'm still... doing I'm studying at university in my last year biochemistry yeah Bio one year left just finished a book called stillness is a key um, yeah I'm probably more into like the psychology that sort of um, quite heavy reads occasionally, but yeah, that's sort of stuff I like to read, just really interested in it. 
started to eat one, but it was called Lost Connections and The Body Keeps the School. Just really interesting. I've got a real bad habit of like starting a book and then wanting to read another book, so starting it again. And I'm just trying this camp to like finish books. So I was quite glad when I finished a book um, last week. So I'm like, right, now I can actually read the next one rather than having like 10 books that I'm reading at one time, which is not oh ideal. God, yeah, I can never do it. Yeah. <laughs> Really know, to be honest. There's been a lot of conversation about changing the size of the goal because women like biologically have like smaller hands, but I think that affects it for like kicking, so I don't think I'm really yeah. part of that with it. Yeah, I was part of um, like a small cycle when they changed it to it like four and a half, and I just felt like we didn't get um, the benefits of it as everyone hoped. I can understand why people think that we'll be able to handle the ball better but actually I think the weight of the ball affected yeah. it so it just lost its shape in the air and kicks didn't go as far. I think we've played with this for yeah. like so long now I think it'd be strange to change it. Every year like they make changes to the laws I think I certainly think some of the ones more recently have had a really positive effect on the game. I think the 5022 uh, law is awesome. I like the thought of having two refs on the field at once like rugby league style. That'd be cool. I think that'd be quite fun. We spoke about having smaller benches. Or yeah. bigger bench, big NFL benches. star. Yeah. Um, but I think there's there's loads of time, loads of loads of things you could change and tinker with. But obviously, you add something somewhere, you've got to take away something else. So I, I like what's happening at the moment. So I think yeah. we're on a good path.